At NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center near Washington, D.C., an international collaboration is underway. Inside this clean room, the James Webb Space Telescope is being tested and prepared for its ambitious mission. It's scheduled for launch in October 2018 on a European Ariane 5, and at three storeys high, with a distinctive gold-coated segmented mirror six and a half metres across, the James Webb will take space telescopes to a whole new level. It's the biggest telescope we have ever launched to space, and it's bigger than the size of the fairing of the rocket. Also, we have this big sun shield, uh, which has the size of a tennis court. All this together does not fit within the fairing of the rocket. So we, we, basically, we need to fold it up together and then to launch it into space. And then around one week into space, we basically unfold everything. And afterwards, we can all sleep a bit better because this is uh, indeed a very challenging uh, uh, phase of the project. The James Webb will have seven times more light gathering power than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. It will also work in infrared rather than ultraviolet and visible light. This will allow it to peer through the veils of gas and dust surrounding areas where stars and planets are being born. James Webb has been built to initially to see galaxies and when they form. So these gal the galaxies are this assembly of stars and we are trying to look at really the first hundred million years of the universe and look at their formation. But at the end of the day it's going to do much more than that and in particular a very exciting field where it will uh, do a lot of uh, bring ex exciting results or exoplanets, you know, characterizing the, the atmosphere of planets orbiting over stars. That's really exciting. Named after a NASA administrator during the Apollo era, the James Webb Space Telescope is a joint project between NASA, ESA and the Canadian Space Agency. Europe provides the Ariane 5 launcher, a team to support the scientific operation of the telescope and two scientific instruments, the Near Red Infrared Spectrograph, NearSpec, and in partnership with the USA, the Mid-Infrared Camera and Spectrograph, MIRI. International partnerships are actually critical to NASA. Something like 90% of the missions, at least in astrophysics uh, at NASA, involve international partners. Uh, from a selfish perspective, I want to get the best ideas from around the world to turn out the best science. And so for that reason, we like to canvas uh, everybody to help us get those ideas. In return for Europe's contributions to the telescope, scientists from ESA member states will gain access to this powerful observatory and receive at least 15% of its observing time, as for Hubble. The James Webb will be operated from the Space Telescope Science Institute in the American city of Baltimore. Unlike Hubble, which orbits the Earth, the James Webb will orbit the L2 Lagrange point over 1.6 million kilometres from Earth accompanying the Earth and the Moon in their yearly path around the Sun. Towards the end of the year, the telescope will be integrated with the Sun Shield and the spacecraft. It will then be a crucial step forwards towards providing astronomers with an unprecedented view of the universe and the promise of extraordinary discoveries to come.